first of all, I knew nothing about um, this gluten stuff. I knew nothing about gluten. You know, what the heck is gluten? I didn't know what the heck that stuff was. I heard of the term before, but I didn't know what it was. I thought it was some kind of glue, you know, that you buy at the hardware store. Can I get a box of gluten, please? <laughs> I need some I need some glue to glue one of the legs on my table. Uh, can I get a box of gluten, please? <laughs> as it turns out, folks, um, as I was studying this gluten stuff, the etymology of the word, the origin of the word is actually Latin. And guess what it literally means? It means glue. <laughs> I was right. It does mean glue. <laughs> well, I researched this gluten stuff. And here we go again with medical studies, okay, and news articles. This study said this. This research said that it's good for you, it's bad for you. The majority claim gluten, uh, these grains, are healthy. The majority. Even some naturopathic doctors claim that these grains, wheat, barley, rye, and oats, um, they claim that, that it's healthy. Not all of the naturopathic doctors claim. Man, I've seen a few videos. Um, so it, it's possible that they're healthy, okay? I'm, 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 I'm confused with all these medical researches. This one says this, this one says that. There was a research I read that scared the crap out of me. Um, I didn't want to go gluten-free because of this article. It stated that a deficiency in gluten can cause heart attacks. You can get a heart attack if you abstain from gluten, according to this study I read. Other, also other uh, articles um, that I read uh, claim uh, abstaining from gluten can make you gain weight. Like, whoa, holy gluten, Batman. If you don't consume gluten, you can get fat and have a heart attack. <laughs> so you better eat that gluten. You got to eat that gluten. Okay, may I have a box of gluten, please? I'll take 50 box of gluten right now, please. I don't want to get fat and I don't want to get a heart attack. Give me 50 boxes of gluten. I'll take a year's supply of gluten. <laughs> I figured I entertain you because this is good. This is a long video. I don't want to get you bored. Also, if you have celiac disease or some kind of digestive disorder, you cannot consume gluten. It can actually kill you. Um, I know a couple of people that ended up in the hospital for days with celiac disease, Crohn's disease. Uh, so if you have some kind of digestive disorder, you cannot consume gluten. You got to get rid of it. On the other hand, if you don't consume gluten, you're at risk of getting a heart attack. <laughs> Either way, you're screwed, baby. <laughs> don't you love the confusion, baby? Don't you love this? <laughs> so what do we do in a situation like this? I know what we should do. We should go by the consensus, right? Which is what many of us do, right? We go by the majority. Whatever the majority claims, it must be true, right? And, and a fact. And forget the other researchers that stated the contrary, right? Go with the majority. Forget the opposing view. If the majority claims salt is bad because practically every doctor on the planet said it's bad and it must be bad. If the majority say gluten is okay, then eat it and keep eating it because the majority of people are saying it's okay. But you see the confusion, folks. People read these researches like myself and a fear gets implanted in them, okay? I, they become apprehensive, just like me. I was scared. I'm like, man, if I go, if I go on a gluten-free diet, um, I can get a heart attack. Like, my God, you know, what do I do if I get rid of gluten? I can die from a heart attack, but if I eat it, I can still die from my celiac disease. My intestines will blow up. They will explode. Uh, I'm so confused right now. What do I do? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Let me help you with this. This is simple, ladies and gentlemen. Watch how simple this is, folks. This is very simple. It's a no-brainer. Put on your thinking caps, people. Ask yourself this question. If you're considering going gluten-free, ask yourself this question. Is gluten the only food or protein 
that can lower the risk of heart attacks? Or are there other foods or nutrients that can keep the cardiovascular system healthy? What? Is gluten the only food, the exclusive food that supports the cardiovascular system? I can think of many foods that can lower the risk of heart attacks. Almonds, salmon, tuna. What about the trace mineral selenium? Okay, the trace mineral selenium that saved the lives of many Chinese, including Chinese children, in the early 1970s that were having heart attacks. Okay, it was called the Keshen syndrome, which is actually congestive cardiomyopathy. And it's caused by a deficiency of the trace mineral selenium. Okay, thanks to Dr. Joe Wallach, and I'll get to him in a few minutes. Thanks to Dr. Joe Wallach, who saved those Chinese kids. Did Dr. Wallach tell the Chinese government you have to feed these children gluten to get rid of the heart attack, to stop the heart attack? You got to feed them gluten? No, it was a deficiency in the trace mineral selenium. The, the Chinese government mandated, okay, the Chinese government mandated that every child be given selenium, and as a result, they never lost a child since, okay? Can you imagine that? A government mandating that children must take a mineral to prevent a disease. What's your government mandating? Hmm? Think about that one, folks.